episode 3 of my adventures. We're in here in the beginning of January, and the creatures are just beginning to stir. We're gonna go, go looking for a wild volleyball player. Let's go. They sometimes decide they want to live in caves after they've eaten and their bellies are full. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to sneak up on one if we want a good look at him. I can hear you outside. <laughs> There's one. They've been known to laugh hysterically. I've seen one like this before. He's got green fur. The ones with the green fur, they've been known to shed, as I said before, and grow colorful coats. This one, I'd say, is about six foot tall. At the max. Give them the space, because they get very aggressive. Oh, what is that? We just witnessed something very spectacular. I'm putting my life on the line to show you his colorful coat. Now I gotta get out of here. And look, we're gonna wait until it. Oh, he lied down. He's playing dead. It's a defensive area mechanism sometimes they use. We're gonna look for a, a bigger specimen. Sometimes the grand one. All right. I'm putting my life on the line once again for you. <coughs> There's a butte. Six foot. Uh, four, I'd say. It's a very fine specimen. <laughs> this one, not as colorful as the other ones we've seen before. The taller ones tend to be more plain in their fur. But as these, as I said before, they uh, like to live in caves. Uh, late, once their bellies are full, they don't like to be outside because they're more sluggish. Uh, as you can see, this one is all alone. Uh, this one is alone at the moment. And... Uh, they like to hunt in packs when they go out, but in the cave, he'll be fine just by himself. But you have witnessed a very rare specimen today on Adventures with Coyote Chris. I uh, changed my name from Coyote Chris, from Dingo Chris to Coyote Chris. So, just filling you in there, mate. But tune in for the next episode of Coyote Chris. <laughs>